Dum 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 Francois was here. Yes, he was. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, what's that? It's raining outside? Well, let's stay inside and consume some more. Yes, let's do that. For example, what do we have here? Watercress frappe? Huh? 18,000 kip. Sounds like a lot, but it's really $2. And here it is, look at that, with the presentation in the bamboo reusable straw. My parents would love that, going around with their own straws. Maybe I should buy them some bamboo straws, that'd be kind of fun. Anyway, yes, there's a whole lot of green in this town, it's going to be good for me. Okay, bye. Alright, here at ATM, here we go, I need some money. Blue screen! Blue screen ATM! Shit! Ah, holy crap. Oh, gee whiz. So here we have the braised stewed pork with some potatoes and Mr. Egg and the pickled carota. And then some kind of a aperitif, uh, peanut treatment and the banana chocolate smoothie because it's half as much as alcohol. Oh my goodness. Wow. Francois was here. And for the dessert, you know, the little uh, sticky rice ball with the thingy dingies, the little sesame and the piece of mango. Some kind of a passion fruit and ice cream and other stuff business. And a little baby chocolate mousse. And a little espresso with uh, look at that, a little candy. What? Golly. Golly, golly. Lumber bone. I gotta I'll rant about this more when I'm out of here. Not looking so goofy. Okay. All right. So, guys. So guys, gee whiz, I, uh, I am just, I'm just amazed uh, by what I'm eating. And isn't that, I, I'm embarrassed to say so, because that's such the jet set, you know, stomach following degenerate foodie thing to say. And, uh, but wow. Uh, this long prabang is just a different scene entirely from what I've been used to. You know, in you know Thailand, you know, in, in Cambodia, food was difficult. I was always suspicious of everything. Uh, menus were kind of funny, and I just didn't believe anything. I was also <clears throat> worried about getting sick, which I did, and then. Uh, yeah, and then Thailand, you know, is Thailand is Thailand, and Thailand is only Thailand, and Thailand is very good at Thailand, and Thailand is only good at Thailand. <clears throat> and so there were plenty of people, plenty of places saying, oh, we have steaks and we have spaghetti, but you know it was crap. You know it'd be crap. You just know it would be. You know it would be, because they're really not interested in any food that isn't Thai food, even if they're trying to sell it. That's just how they are. Fine, okay, fine, fine, fine. And so I had this fit. <clears throat> I had this fit in Shanghai where I just wanted a piece of chocolate cake. But it wasn't just about the chocolate cake, it was the fact that I didn't believe the chocolate cake that was presented to me. Does that make any sense? I didn't believe them. I didn't believe them. Because I thought, you know what, this is... <laughs> I don't know how many months old that cake is. And uh, I don't know how much mold's on the bottom. Everyone tells that story. No, I did find that one uh, 
cake place on the Mekong River, and that's all they did. And of course, it worked out fine. It, it, it was fine. It was fine. But uh, that, that's an example. I hope I'm trying. I hope I'm conveying, even though it's not very flattering uh, of me. How uh, what, what was going on for me there? So it was either more Thai food, which was delicious, but always Thai food, okay, or um, milk and coffee and cans, okay. But then I get here, and I'm not even trying very hard. I'm really not. But the uh, the, the Frenchie, Frenchie was here, and you also have uh, all of this respect for vegetables and, um, and fruits and I later figured it out that at least this part of the country where I am now if you find Luang Prabang in the map it said right in the middle of the uh, it's the big northern low blob of the country which is most of its territory but um, as far as I can tell not the majority of where its inhabitants are because it's all mountains up here and so therefore it's cooler weather, therefore the rainfall is different, and it's all up and down, so you can't grow rice very well. Ah, so you get it, right? Like, but what they can grow up here are vegetables. Now maybe these are vegetables that the Frenchies brought with them, or that they started growing later, I don't even know. But this is not rice country. This is not rice country. This is everything else you possibly can grow country. And those include vegetables. Okay. Uh, all these French treatments of meats and potatoes and shallots and garlic and just all this. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm just realizing how much I missed it. How very, very much I missed it. What do you mean it? I mean, any, any food with any kind of uh, fancy Western uh, influence at all. It, it's a real shock after months and months out here. And from what I understand, it's only Luang Prabang, really. I think Vientiane, it was the capital of the place, but uh, I, as I understand, most of Laos isn't like that, isn't like this. And that's fine, but boy, I, I'm looking at that bike ride out of here and it's down to Cambodia again, which, which I still is the plan. It's not the plan now. It's not the plan now. I got smart and I figured out a way to get, to go north and east into Hanoi, which, like, which is pretty much the straight route to Hanoi, at least as the crow flies. I figured out that if I do it right and if my sources are correct and blah, 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 blah that uh, it's not gonna be nearly as hard actually as this initial uh, mountain struggle riding south out of here towards the flatlands. Anyway, another thousand kilometers. Oh God, I'm going to ride a thousand kilometers away from Long Prabang? Are you serious? <sighs> anyway, had emote. Thank you very much. Fancy tourist place. Fried bamboo. Bamboo that you eat. This snack plate, you know. The, the, the sticky rice thingies, that's a sweet potato cake there. You know what peanuts are. Sliced up and, what was it? Sliced up and fried black mushrooms in these, these little nacho things made of river weeds that live in the river here. Hot doggy dog. Uns, uns we have the stuffed lemongrass with the, with, the, with the chicken and the things. Barbecued buffalo. <coughs> Water buffalo. And then this is it. This is what I'm looking for. I found it. Stir fried froggies. Frogs chopped up into pieces. Be careful with the bones. Got it. Oh yeah, and here is the $8 hamburger that uh, some other foody foody people pointed me to. You got your coleslaw, that's that stuff on the lower right there. And you got your frites, 
which is the fancy way of saying French fries up there in the upper left, and then this very, very nice hamburger, you know. I couldn't even, like, I, I took off the buns and I ate them with butter later. Ha! And then finally, here is how they do the cow soy noodles over here. Uh, that's uh, some very nice spicy, tomato-y, seasony, porky business in the soup there, along with the noodles. And then this big pile of different kinds of green vegetables and seasonings and things they give you. And then uh, over there on the right is this crunchy rice cake looking thing, like a spiced rice cake. And you crumble that up into bits and you put them into the soup and it's like half soggy, half crunchy. God, it's good. God, it's so good and it's so $4. Man, like, ah, <sighs> bomb, fantastic.